So you want to show your face like Houston Cole, Eamon Gatsy and many viral reels out there. But you don't have the gadget and the right tools and you think it is impossible. Now in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a good looking background for your subjects. You don't need anything except a webcam. We start by making a fake green screen and then removing it in Adobe After Effects. And then we will learn how to color grade and retouch the skin at the end. This is a really helpful video and I highly suggest you to watch it until the end. And it would be really nice of you to hit that like and subscribe button, it will help me out a lot. So let's continue. Now there are two ways in order to replace the background for your subject. Now the first way is with the help of the green screen and the second one is with the help of rotoscoping in Adobe After Effects. Now for this video I'm gonna cover the green screen how we can set up a virtual green screen for ourselves and how we can edit it in Adobe After Effects. But if you're interested in learning how we can remove the background with the rotoscoping, just comment rotoscope and I will dedicate a new video about how you can do that. Now there are many softwares out there which can help you to remove background from the subject. But the one that I personally like and it's free is the Nvidia Broadcast. Now this tool is brought by NVIDIA and it's completely free and it uses AI and it has so many cool features. Now if I open the NVIDIA broadcast and I go towards the camera section, as you see here's my camera source which is right now I'm using a Logitech C920 which is a standard webcam and as you see I don't have a fancy gear in here. Now the thing that makes this software really good is the effect panel. So if I click on the add effect, we will have a few effects that we can add for ourselves. For example, the first one is the background blur. So if I choose that and I start to uh, activate it in here, as you see if I increase it, this will blur my background, which is a really cool um, feature. You see that it does it pretty good. Like, you know, if I still, uh, try to uh, you know rotate my face it doesn't really affect the overall quality and however we will have a new feature called the background removal and as you see when i immediately do that it will remove the background but the thing i want to do is that uh, when you use the background removal for the softwares and they do it sort of in, in a live action thing so you don't have any option to manipulate the footage that you have so we need to figure out a way to sort of be able to edit the footage in adobe after Effects or adobe premiere so to do that we need to choose the background replacement now as you see immediately in here you can choose a background and i have replaced it with a green screen so this is exactly what we want but still, I need to mention something. As you see, if I change it to the background removal one more time, you see around my hair, there are still a white spots. So as you see, it is not still perfect. So it has, a, uh, you know, some distortion in here. But uh, for us, which we don't have anything and we want to make something acceptable, this is actually good. So I'm going to change it into the background replacement and I'm going to replace it with the with a green screen footage. Now the good thing about the NVIDIA broadcast is that when you save your uh, settings, it will apply to the camera itself. So uh, every uh, recording uh, software you open, you will have these uh, options. So for example, I'm going to open the OBS Studio to uh, sort of uh, record. So I'm just going to just uh, close this NVIDIA broadcast and I'm going to just open the OBS Studio in here. Now, as you see, I have my uh, camera set um, ready in here. So I can just press on the record and start recording. So I'm just going to say this is test one, two, three, and we want to remove the background. And what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to bring the footage inside of the After Effects really quickly. So here's the footage inside of Adobe After Effects, and let's play it for one so time. So I'm just going to say, this is test one two three and we want to remove the background so let's just and uh, so i'm just okay i'm just gonna uh, trim the composition until here so let's just trim it 
and then I'm just gonna uh, turn off the voice we don't need it we just want to focus on the video so now the first thing I need to do is that I need to add the uh, key light effect to remove the green screen so I'm just gonna select it and then what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna pick the color so as you see now I have the back uh, background removal effect from the Nvidia broadcast and we can tweak a, a few settings in here so we can see if if that is gonna help us to get rid of the um, uh, white spots in here so I'm just gonna try to uh, play with the screen matte effect to remove these uh, white spots but you see it is not still as um, perfect as it should be but it is still something now on the next step we need to sort of replace it with our background so I'm just gonna quickly import the backgrounds so here are uh, three backgrounds that I made with the AI so I'm just gonna select the first one and I'm gonna bring it and below the my subject I'm gonna sort of reposition it like this okay and we can just uh, hit the scale and let's reposition it like this now this is good but one thing that we need to keep in our mind is that the background light is not matching with the subject light so we need to sort of uh, color grade our subject so it matches with the background that we have in here. So what we can do is that we can, I personally use the Premiere Pro to color grade the footage, but we can use the Lumetri color effect and we can push it on top of our subject and let's close the key light effect and we can open the basic correction and we can just play with the temperature to sort of match it with the background we have in here I can just color grade it a bit and then we can sort of play with the lights and contrast to sort of as you see to right now as you see this was the original shot and this is now what we have in here so it makes a huge difference and we can use the curves effect so as you see now it makes lots of difference uh, from what we have and now what we have in here so this step is really important. A lot of uh, designers will just replace the background and ignore the uh, you know, color grading section. Now, on the next step, what we can do is that we can uh, sort of make up uh, the subject and make it better. I personally use the Cosmo 2 or S Beauty when it comes to color grading, uh, when it comes to, you know, retouching. So I'm just gonna add the Cosmo 2 and the thing is that we need to pick a skin sample so we're just gonna use this one and then we can uh, change the overall skin so this is the Cosmo and I use the uh, beauty retouch uh, beauty box as well so this one works similar you need to pick up a dark color so which I'm just gonna turn it off for, for a second. I'm gonna choose a dark skin and then I'm gonna choose a lighter skin. And this will just do that. But as you see, it makes it a bit blurry. So you need to pay attention to that. So I'm just gonna use the uh, Cosmo for the uh, makeup sort of. And then what we can do is that we can just add a camera lens blur so we can replicate the real camera lens blur in here so now as you see we have this uh, background which looks quite good in my opinion now here's the final result and i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel it will help me out a lot for the future content
Thank you so much. I see you in the next video.